What's up guys? We are back with another Star Wars Vintage Collection review, taking a look today at the most recent wave that I picked up at Star Wars Celebration in Chicago. So we've got four figures to look at. We're taking a look at Echo Base Han, Darth Vader, Hoth Leia, and Endor Luke. These guys all come on the standard Vintage Collection style packaging that mimics the original Kenner line with the Kenner logo on the front. Figures are in the bubble, and then on the back we have got cross-sell for some recent figures, including this wave. So let's do it. Let's pull these guys out and take a look. And here they are out of the packaging, our latest wave of Vintage Collection figures from Hasbro. We've got our Echo Base Han, Endor, Prisoner Luke, Hoth Leia, and Darth Vader. We're going to take a look at them individually because they're all obviously very different. They've got different articulation schemes, and then of course they don't really have a lot to do with each other. They're just reissues with photo reel for the main crew. So we're just going to go through the list and take a look at all of them. So we'll start with Han, and we're just going to run through normal stuff. So we'll start with articulation. The head is on a ball, so he goes up and down a little bit, side to side, and rotates. Arms go out, they swivel. You've got a swivel hinge at the elbow, and then you have got uh, just pegs at the wrist. So you've got rotation there, and then you've got rotation there. He has a diaphragm twist, so tw twist back and forth, forward, backward, side to side. Legs only go forward or backward, they're just swivels. And then you've got swivel hinge knees, and you've got swivel hinges at the ankles. So he is is maybe not super articulated, but he is definitely more more than just a 5 POA figure. I do like the way this figure looks. I like the idea behind it. I like the coat. It's one of those coat pieces that sits over top of uh, the body. So if you took the arms off, you could take the jacket off, but it would look really funny. Uh, it's got some nice paint apps on it for the you know, kind of fur hood on the backside there. We've got his uh, we've got his holster down there, so you, you can put his uh, gun in there. And then you've got minimal paint apps on the rest of the body. You've got the you know the stripes that run down the legs, and the rest of the body is for the most part just uh, cast plastic. Uh, I do think this is a pretty good version of the figure. I don't think I've ever really needed this version of Han per se, but I. You know, I can't fault a figure when it is pretty pretty good. The head sculpt does, of course, get a little oomph from the photo reel that we have this time around, because that's kind of the thing for this particular wave. And Harrison's always one that it's always difficult to capture him. And I think that while this is definitely not perfect, this sculpt, especially at an angle, really does it for me. And, uh, you know, he's not my favorite, but I think the photo reel does really heighten this figure. So for someone like me who doesn't have the originals that came out years and years ago, it's nice to be able to get a updated version that's kind of in the go forward paint scheme that they're giving us now. He does, of course, have a handful of accessories to talk about. So this is the instance where he's repairing the Falcon in Echo Base. So you've kind of got those point in time accessories. So we've got like this kind of spanner tool is I'm assuming what this is supposed to be. It's got a decent number of paint apps on it. He can hold this in either hand. You've got his welding mask that he holds up, uh, and it's uh, it can fit over top of his face, and he can hold it in his hands. It's got a little bit of paint application for like some rivets in the handle, and then the, the blast shield. And then, of course, we have his trusty blaster pistol, as usual. That same one that we've seen for years and years. So, you know, maybe not the Han Solo that I want to be, not that I want to be reissued in the vintage collection now, because, you know, I don't have him, but it's nice to have a Han. It's nice to get one of the core characters in this wave. Next up, we've got our Princess Leia figure, and she has similar articulation to Han, but a little bit different. Uh, so we have got a ball peg at the head so she can go side to side. She can't really go backwards, and she can't go down too forwards either just because of her hair, but she can rotate. Arms go out, swivel. You've got a swivel hinge elbow, and then she has got twists at the wrist again, similar to Han, and then she has a waist twist, no actual uh, diaphragm joint like Han does, and then she has swivel legs. We have got got swivel hinge knees, but she has no ankles. She is solid from the knee down. So she is similar, but kind of lacking at the same time to our old buddy Han. This figure, though, I do like the body, and I had said in my celebration kind of haul video that I thought Leia and Luke were going to be my favorites just at first glance, and I kind of think her head is a little weird now. The body is pretty solid. I like the vest. It, hit, it hits her body really nicely, kind of hangs well. It's not too, too restrictive, but it's not too loose either. The paint applications on the insignia are really nice. Most of the body is, you know, kind of cast plastic, which is fine, but you got all of that kind of quilt 
quilted texture that we come to see in her Hoth outfit. So similar to how I really like uh, Hoth Leia in the Black series, I really like this particular figure, but mostly from the neck down. I think her hair sculpt is really nice. The braid is really well done. The paint applications are nice. Uh, I think the face sculpt is a little too thin. Now that I see it kind of, you know, out of the box, out of the package, there's a little bit of a gauntness to it. The photo reel definitely helps a little bit. I could imagine that a regular figure definitely has maybe worse paint applications, but I don't think the photo reel kind of saves it as much as I think it does for Han. Otherwise, though, I do like this figure. She is uh, definitely on the smaller side compared to the to the men, to the male figures. So just for comparison here, you know, there's Leia, and you can see that Han kind of towers over her, and Vader even more so. Uh, I'm not so sure if this is exactly to scale, but they seem pretty close because she was definitely quite short compared to her pops there. So I do like this figure. You know, don't get me wrong, I'm very, very happy to have this. This is one of my favorite looks for Leia in general. I'm just not over the moon when it comes to the head. And then as far as accessories goes, all Leia comes with is the standard Rebel Blaster. Nothing too fancy here, but it's exactly what she should really need, all things considered, for this particular figure. You've got a black gun with a silver barrel. Nothing much more to say about that. Now for Luke, he is pretty similar to Leia in terms of articulation. He doesn't have that diaphragm joint either. So we've got a head that can't really move backwards too far because the hair immediately hits the neck. He can go down slightly, bobble side to side, and then he rotates. Arms go out and swivel, swivel hinge elbows. Uh, we've got swivel hinges at the wrist. This is an up and down hinge, and uh, so is this hand here. You've got a waist twist. Legs, however, go out. They can rotate and you can kick forward and backwards with that. You've got hinges and swivels at the knees, and then you've got hinges and swivels down at the ankles. So he has a little bit extra mobility at the thigh uh, in this particular figure, because this one, if if I recall, this one came later in the Vintage Collection. The, the other three were very, very early on figures. Luke, uh, Luke came a couple waves after that. And I could check that because the numbers on these figures do not change. They actually retain the same numbers as the original line, which is kind of cool. As far as the sculpt goes, he is mostly just cast plastic. He is uh, just your black Jedi Knight body with some paint details on his belt. Of course, you've got the gloved hand, and you've got the ungloved hand, and you've got those glossy boots down there. Sculpt is okay. He is he is a little chunky in some ways. The arms, especially because of how they have those joints in there, he's kind of puffy almost. You can see that the elbow is kind of bowing out there a little bit. I don't particularly care for that. Uh, he does look kind of weird, so you've got to get him oriented a correct way to kind of get line of sight on those. And the, the hands look a little like almost swollen to me. I do really, really like Jedi Luke though, and I'm happy to have this figure. I just don't know that his arms are anatomically correct. It seems like he's got a little uh, fluid buildup in those elbow joints. But otherwise, it's a pretty solid figure. The head sculpt, I think, is really nicely done. The photo reel, I think, is employed very well here, and you've got some nice uh, kind of dry brushing in the hair to bring out the sculpt to make it look that the light is hitting it in a certain way. I'm not entirely convinced that this is the greatest Mark Hamill sculpt ever, ever for, you know, for a face, but I do think that it's pretty nicely done, and it's a good example of what photo reel does at this particular level. And as far as accessories goes, we have got a unignited saber, so you've got a hilt that you can peg into his waist there. We have got an ignited green saber, and then you have got the kind of uh, handcuffs for his capture on Endor, since that is what they're going for here. Now, of course, the one I wanted the most in this wave is obviously Darth Vader. So this is supposed to be an Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader. And for the most part, I am pretty happy with it. This guy does employ a removable helmet, which is really nice. We will talk about that shortly. We've got, for articulation, a swiveling head, and that's pretty much it. You can't really do too much more because he is kind of restricted. It does move, but it's not going to sit too well. The arms go out. They swivel. You've got swivel hinge elbows. He's got rotating wrists. You do have a waist twist. It is kind of tight because of uh, because of the soft goods that are on there. The legs will kick forward and they kick backward. You've got rotating hinged knees and then you've got rotating hinged ankles as well. So he's similar to the others. He's got that uh, articulation that Han and Leia have. Uh, so dissimilar to Luke at, at the thighs, basically. I think the sculpt on this guy is pretty nicely done. I like the paint applications on his control panel, on his belt. The, the colors very much pop against the, the blacks and the grays. His armor at the shoulders and the chest is nicely done. If there's one thing I don't really like about this figure, this figure it's the chain around the neck. That kind 
kind of glittery, almost yarn type of thing going there just doesn't do it for me. It very much screams, this is a toy. And of course it is a toy, but it kind of takes me out of this. I think the soft goods, though, are pretty nicely done. The cape does seem to be a little big. I'm not so sure if I have any suggestions on how that could be fixed without maybe messing it up even further. But it does hang pretty nicely if you get it just right. And then those inner robes, they work. They look very nice. I'm pretty happy with how they sit. The helmet does look pretty good. Uh, I, at first I thought it was oversized, but the more I look at it, the less I think that. I think it might still be a little bit too big, but only slightly. And it just, it just looks nice. There's not a lot uh, in terms of paint on it, of course, because it's just black. But you've got the uh, the silver nose and kind of the mandibles at the end of the mouth guard. And then, of course, you can pop this guy off. So you can take the, the, the helmet off, the helmet part, and you've got more sculpt, more paint on the inner mask. You've got the gold and the silver, the kind of circuitry in there. And then you pop that off, and you've got, you know egghead under there with the scar running down the top of his head. You've got the scars on the cheek and you've got those deep sunken eyes which I think employ photo reel very very nicely in this particular instance. I'm really really happy with how this particular figure turned out. Uh, it was just a really really good instance of seeing that head underneath this helmet. It doesn't look too undersized. It doesn't look um, out of place here either so I'm really really happy with that. And then as far as accessories goes we have got his lightsaber which he can hold in either hand just fine. You've got paint detail on the hilt, and then you've got the standard telltale red blade. So overall, I'm pretty happy with these figures. None of them are perfect. They all have, in some ways, slightly wonky articulation. Leia's still got kind of a wonky face to me in some respects, but I'm really happy to have these. I really like the fact that I'm now getting some old core OT character figures, and of course, getting a Darth Vader figure always brightens my day, so that's always a good sign. And this is just a great way to get into these figures for people who didn't have these figures years ago when they first came out. Of course, this is a way for photo reel to be deployed in the line and I'm not sure it was ever needed at three and three quarter I wasn't clamoring for it personally but I think this shows that it can be done and it honestly looks pretty good in many respects so I am happy to see this technology hit this line happy to see what comes from it down the road so that's going to do it for this look at the Star Wars vintage collection Han, Luke, Leia and Darth Vader figures let me know what you guys think feel free to like comment subscribe and share and until next time